Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about three functions, getLine, get and ignore. These functions are used to extract characters from stream, not only files, but also from stream. For example, we have got the function getLine. This function takes three arguments. Well, it can also take one argument or two argument because you, we can omit them, we can skip them, but well, most time we're using this function with three arguments. The first argument says where we would like to store the variable, the content of the extracted um, thing from the file. So, for example, let's try to write something like file dot get line. And now we need, as you can see here, we have got a tip, uh, we should send here the place where we like to store our content from the file. So let's create it. As, uh, as you notice, it should be the pointer. So it should be something like uh, that. And, uh, but, well, we can use the fact that the name of the array is really a pointer, right? So we can do it that way or we can create a dy dynamically mm, memory but we can also do it that way so file get line and here now we are sending the buffer and now we should say how many would uh, we would like to get uh, bytes from the file so if we type something like 50 then we will get 50 bytes into the buffer. Okay. So when we run this program, we got it into the buffer. Now we should send it to the output. As you can see, here we have on the output my name and surname. Because in our file we have got now my name and uh, surname and some random two names and surnames. So it means that we are getting 50 characters from here, but look, um, is my name and surname 50 characters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20. So it's only 20 characters. Why we didn't get more characters? Because function getLine by default has got here something like that. This thing says <coughs> that it should get 50 characters unless it meets the uh, character which uh, re is representing the end of line. It's pretty easy to understand because, well, get line means, hey, please get a line <laughs> from from the file. Uh, you see that file get line is really cool thing because normally when we are using the stream, uh, if we did something like that, we would get only what? one word. You wouldn't get two words as once. Uh, right now, uh, using the getLine function, we can do something like that very pretty easy. So, okay, here, uh, how, how getLine function works. Uh, the first argument uh, is uh, saying uh, where to store, mm, where to store the extracted characters then how many characters should be taken unless and here we can say what is the separator what is a delimiter what is the delimiter well it is right now the backslash n but if we use for example character a then it would stop here because here we have a. So when we run this program, as you can see, we have got on A, R, K. Okay, so uh, it is just a delimiter, it's a separator, it means where it should stop uh, reading the line or something like that. We can also, uh, for example, say, well, le well, let's get from the line on the 10 characters. When you run this program, as you can see, first 10 characters is just my name. Okay, so this function is a get line function. What is the get function? Well, 
this function is pretty the same, but there is a small difference. Difference in that this thing extracts it extracts the buffer, uh, well, the delimiter, the separator, and delete it. This thing doesn't extract separator. So what's the problem? Well, oh, it should be that way. When we run the program, for example, um, if we wanted to take all characters from the file, we could write with that function something like do while uh, while the end of file is not in it, or we could also do something like that while this thing is possible, we can send to the output buffer. It will work because get line uh, is true until we something wrong is not happening. So if we have an error, then it will uh, return the f false. So when we run this program, and we also do something like that, as you can see, we have got all names and surnames. Pretty easy to understand. We got all things from the <clears throat> from the file. But if we use this function, we would get only first name and surname. Why is it happening? It is because the get function doesn't extract the separator. And look, the get function will take as many characters as it is stated in this place unless separator is met. So each time this function is meeting the separator which is not extracted at all. That's why every time it's not going farther. So if we wanted to, for example, delete this thing from the end, we could extract it with the ignore function. Ignore function extracts character, uh, well, extracts characters, um, and here we should state how many characters to extract and to ignore them. And at the end, we have got also a separator. Okay. So right now we should, after each time we get something from the file, we should ignore it. Ignore one character. And as you can see, now we can get all of them. So you might be thinking, when should we use this? When should we use this? The most time you will be using this function, but there might be sometimes situations like, for example, let's exercise these functions that we should we have just learned. Let's uh, create a program where we would get from the file where our names and surnames only first letter of the name and only first letter of the surname. So only initials of the name and surname. How to do it? It would be wrong to use the get line then. We'll use the get function. Okay, so how to do it? We will get, uh, well, let's create first two temporary variables. First character and last character. Uh, well, for the first initial and for the uh, second initial, right? So maybe we should call it second. And now this function, the 
get function also has got one overloaded function that when you use it that way, it gets only one character and it returns that character. Get line doesn't have something like that. So we can write something like first equals five get. And now we have got here a first character. We can check it out. Let's send it to output. And as you can see, we have got the first character, A. So it is this character here. And now how to get the second character? How to get this character here? We should what? We should ignore all these characters unless we meet what? A space. Because we don't know exactly how many characters are here. So we should ignore all possible characters until we meet a space. So we should write something like phi dot ignore and we can write big number here or I don't know 40 characters until we meet a space. And then we can get second character, so second equals phi get. And now we are where? We are here. And now we should what ignore all possible characters here unless we meet what the end of line character so we should again file that ignore for example that many characters unless we meet a end of line character and we can send it also to the output so second and now as you can see we have got both characters here, but we don't need the. We could send it to the output that way. Okay, it works. Now let's take all possible characters. So we can, for example, well, for all possible initials, do Y file is not ended, so file hasn't been ended. And now when we run this program, as you can see, we have got all first initials A, W, H, S, N and C. Everything works fine. What if I wanted, for example, get full name and then on the initial? It could be possible that somebody would like to do something like that. Well, then we would use the get also, but with buffer, and we'll get how many uh, ca characters to well, to the buffer, and we would like to take, for example, fifty uh, characters, unless we meet the enter, right? Something like that. And now we can have a buffer here. And for example, we can add the dot here. So now we are getting first 50 characters unless we need a space. We now don't need to ignore anything. And now uh, we are getting the first character. How will it work? As you can see, it's working that way. Um, and why it's not working properly? Because the get function is what? Doesn't extracting the separator, the delimiter. We need to use the get line, which will extract the separator and delete it. So we use it that way. As you can see, now everything works fine. We have got a name and the initial of the surname. Pretty cool. We need to remember that the getLine function can be used on any stream, not only on file. We could also say something like C in and now that getLine. And for example, I would like to get uh, characters to the buffer and I would like to get 50 characters. Now, when we run this program, will be asked for something. So when you, for example, send it to the output, we'll see it. So when you do something like that, and now we type something, 
all these tight things can be seen here. What is cool in, about it is that, look, we can take more than one word at once. Normally, if you use something like, for example, that way, we weren't able to do something like that. We could take only one word at once. With GetLine, everything like that is possible. Okay, that's all in that lesson. Thank you very much.